this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter and today I'm bringing you a super adorable cute uh, album that I just finished. I did make this with yet another tonic collection called The Life You Love and I'm absolutely just adoring these dies because you can make some amazing albums out of them and I hope to inspire you to create your own or if you're interested in one of course you can always contact me however I'm just gonna walk you through this one today and as you see here that is the title of the book it says create the life you love and I think it's so adorable I love using metallics but I like to combine them so what I've done is I've used gold bronze and antique gold I guess is what you would call it uh, in this book so this is the cover and I did glitter it up a little bit if you see there there is some glimmer to it and of course the lighting here does not do it justice but this is glitter paper on the front there's vellum and then there's the antique gold and then I kept it super simple with just two little butterflies there that way uh, whoever receives it can actually touch the cover and not feel like they might uh, ruin the book and then here I guess the eye-catching piece of this book is the spine I have used a piece of antique lace that has this beautiful border and I left that to kind of remain on the front of the book purposely because I'm picturing the book on a table laying like so and I thought it would be useful to leave the, this edge here without adding more laces to it so that way um, you can get, still get to see the, the scalloped edge and then not have to worry about this end here so I did adhere that to the spine of the book and here I've added sequins as you can tell and pearls and then this piece here I did make with a piece given to me by Vicky so thank you so much Vicky it does have an image of a doily there uh, then that's layered on another piece here that I did create by layering paper and vellum and that vellum does have little hearts on it and you're gonna see it better inside of the book there's the back I will be putting my information here and the ribbon closure is with organza ribbon that I use um, and also finished off with these pieces here so when you open the book here you get to see the first page and I think it came out so delicate and beautiful this is the style that I love most it's just things that look delicate so uh, I created a front pocket here and I did use glitter paper and vellum and as you can tell there is a little tag here I've included these throughout so that the person who receives the book can either place pictures there or journal or do both because you can place a small picture on the front of the tag and then do your journaling on the back and here I've created a little bit of a flip so that does open like so and I did embellish that and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see it a little bit better I'm hoping that you guys can catch all the detail there so there's a little pearl and again more of that glitter paper and the little tab here but here on the side is a piece of antique lace that I just cut a flower out of and I added it there so it's very muted but there is texture on that page okay so this one here does have antique lace as borders here for these pockets that I created and then just um, this pretty lace here as well these are doubled up so the person can use one for journaling as you can see and then the other one for a picture if they would like and then I altered a butterfly here that's made of wood and I did alter that with paint and glitter <laughs> so it's very simple but it's delicate and it again the uh, the edges here also are distressed with distress ink and the next page here has a nice oval shaped frame for it that fits a nice size picture there and then opposing that um, is this page here that I created a pocket with using the dies of course and then I did back this one up with vellum also I added a piece of organza ribbon and a nice little peach color and then a string of pearls and then included this little tag here and it's hard to tell but this is embossed with little hearts which I think is so darling so that fits back here and then if you look a little closer there's another tag here that you can pull out of the page so that is a page with an inside pocket so then here this uh, circle here that I created using a die from uh, Nicole Silhouette 
uh, I made with that vellum paper that I mentioned that has the heart on it and I think it's so lovely. And then these pieces here were given to me by Vicki who is tryheart67 here on YouTube and I wanted to say thank you so much Vicki for uh, letting me have those. I was able to use them in this book and I think they look darling there. So when you flip the page you have this spread here and what I did here was that I used a uh, die that is a viewfinder, but I tried to use it in a unique way. And what I did was that I did stamp a clock in the center there, and I heat embossed that. And then I added a gold circle and the word love, and then finished it off with little sequins and buttons to add some shine. And I kept this simple here, so that way um, it wouldn't compete with the opposing page here, which is an oval frame. I added this edge here, which is, uh, if you see that, that is a decorative edge there. And then I made these little flowers and added them here just to give that frame a little something that would be decorative. And of course, there's another little tag and it has more of that vellum there that I used just to decorate that. And I absolutely love these papers too. I think they're so pretty. This page has a circular frame here and it has that beautiful scallop there also and then with the little tab it's actually magnetized so you can open it and have two more places there for pictures and those are just simple ovals there and here I created a belly band on this page and I used the sticker that I backed up with a die and I also used a little more ornate pieces of dies there in glitter paper so you can see that there that was placed on a piece of antique lace that I used to create the pocket on the page and then I made this little envelope and there you see that vellum with the hearts which I think is so darling and then the little envelope I did create a closure for using an antique button and then a glitter button and then I just embellished the front there. I added this little wooden butterfly and another little bow there that was given to me also by Vicki. Thank you so much. And the little envelope inside, I'm sorry, the, the card inside is just a little square card that I embellished with a doily top and these little flags that I created and stapled there. So it's just simple. And I did ink the uh, the page on the the paper on the inside this page here when you flip that you come to this page and I'm gonna try to tilt it so that you guys can see that that is a shaker and what I did was that I used another tonic die for the phrase there that says reminisce and some little swans that I topped with an organza ribbon and those beautiful roses there I also made uh, and uh, went ahead and backed up with vellum so that they'd be sturdy and added the little I fussy cut that out of an, a, a larger image there so it added a bit of whimsy to this book which I love to do and on this opposing page here what you see is this little tab here which opens up and you can add a picture here and you can journal on the opposing side if you'd like so that's a cute little spread there. It closes and there's a tag here that you can take out and journal on. I did stamp this image here with a stamp that I recently got with the roses and that's in an antique gold ink. And then as you saw, this one here also peeking out is the last little tag there. And what I did was that I heat embossed the butterflies in gold I dry embossed the paper and I created a little pocket there also. So you could put a piece of ephemera or maybe receipts or things like that if you want to remember uh, a, a day out. Then the ribbon here that I added is actually a piece of cotton that I've stamped uh, with the same butterfly. And then I did add the little tiny butterfly there on top as well as one on the back to cover the staple so that it doesn't damage any pictures. And that goes inside of this very large pocket here but I like to have it kind of peeking out so that you know to look for it and here on the very last page what I did was that I created another uh, place here for a picture I did add a piece of uh, doily here um, that's in the shape of a flower 
and then if you move this here you can open it up and it has yet more room for pictures and I did include the photo templates so that the recipient can use these as their guide to cut down any pictures that they might need to cut to fit into the book then at the end here are some more of those roses that I stamped about and I distressed the page there but I might add another tag I'm not quite sure, not 100% sure on that, but in any case, I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I thoroughly enjoyed making this book. I think it's romantic, it's sweet, it's delicate, it's all the things that I like when I look at a mini album, so I don't know, I try to incorporate uh, my personal taste into it, and I hope that it's to your liking. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like the video, and leave a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And if you're new here, I thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope that you can be inspired and be blessed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.